Welcome back. Well, you know what? Just say welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the next playthrough on the... I was going to say the easy breezy Soul Link. I'm so locked into Soul Link right now that I was literally about to say Soul Link again. This audio might be too loud. Doesn't look too, too bad on there, but I'm going to lower this. Give me one second. Um, configure? Audio. Put this audio down. Put it like that. It should be a little more bearable. A little more bearable. All right. Uh, Professor Kukui? Is that his name? I haven't played this game in so long. It's been almost a year since the last randomized Nuzlocke that I did that wasn't a Breeze Lock. Uh, the difference between a regular Nuzlocke and a Breeze Lock, if you guys don't know, the Breeze Lock was... I was stricter on the level caps. I was also randomizing the move sets so that they would have better move sets. It was a setting that was in the randomizer that I found. And I thought it was a cool addition, and I thought it would make it more challenging, which it did. But it also just created more of a aspect of randomness to it. Um, where... Oh, what's the best way to describe it? My name is Breezy. Um, some Pokemon, I think they learned moves they normally wouldn't have. Or I don't know if it was what they normally could have or wouldn't have. I don't know. Something about it. Sometimes they would have like HMs and sometimes they would just have like super strong moves like at low levels that would make it really difficult or they just have crazy coverages and you just want to know what to expect with them. Especially with some random abilities, sometimes it got a little out of control and it was just really difficult. But I did like how difficult it was. But I also went like 0 for 6 on my Breeze Locks. I don't know how many I did, but I did really bad. So I'm going to go back to doing a random Nuzlocke. Uh, the last time we did this was also an Iron Mon, which means I could only have six Mons on the team, and I couldn't just catch every wild Pokemon I got. I had to uh, change out a Pokemon if I added a Pokemon to the team. So if I caught a Pokemon, had to join the team and kick something off permanently. So if anything fainted, I didn't just have Pokemon sitting in the box. So it did a little, uh, a little more difficult, to say the least. And I just realized something. We're going to do some live editing for this. This is the starter selection video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna change this because this was the color I was using for the yellow run. Let's switch it up. Let's do. Let's make it purple since we're playing Ultra Moon. Do it like that. Go to the background like this. Go bang. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Let's make it purple. Let's make it purple. Uh, I'm going to do a similar layout like I did to the yellow, though. I'm going to use the Pokelink app so I can just change the team as it goes. And it'll have the little digital preview there. I feel like it works pretty good. I, I do like the fact that I used to do the card arts. Um, the card arts were fun, but I'm just trying, trying to do something a little different. I don't want the every single playthrough to look exactly the same. Uh, the card arts, I do still have them downloaded. I believe I still have them. I'm sure I transferred them over. I'm like 99% sure I did. Uh, so I could always go back to that if I really wanted to. But I feel like switching it up is fun. Do something new. Do something new. All right, Mama. What we doing? Oh, this game's so good. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited for this. Uh, Ultra Moon, in my opinion, is one of the best Pokemon games that have ever come out. Um, you can fight me for that. But I think it is one of the best. Everyone complains about the intro being too long. But I really don't think it's that bad of a thing. I mean, I feel like a lot of games that you play the intro takes a while. Why is my phone blowing up right now? What is going on? Oh. Mish texted me about something. I'll get back to her as soon as I can. Uh, I was saying something about this game being good or something like that. But yeah, people complain about the intro. The starting taking too long but it's like what are, we, what are we in such a rush for and i also never noticed the pincer on the bed there that's pretty cool that's pretty cool they definitely sped up the intro on this game though uh compared to sun and moon this one you get the starters pretty quickly compared to the other one uh, okay i need to pay attention uh get your bag and hat okay i gotta go do that 
run right here. I don't know if my controls are going to be right. I feel like they're going to be a little off. I had to like reconfigure my controller. And I feel like sometimes the settings don't get like the diagonal controls right. Like if I try to run in the circle, I'm going to try it. Let me try it. This is going to be a starter selection, by the way. You guys are going to be able to vote for my starter. The last I haven't had a playthrough where you guys were able to vote on my starter outside of a soul link in a while. Um, I think the last breeze lock was the last one. Yeah, see, it's like, see how it's like kind of like it's not smooth because the controls, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, the last breeze lock I did, it was the last time I let you guys vote on a starter for just me. It's been a long time. I really can't even remember. Is this the way I'm supposed to go first? I don't remember. I'm going to save the game real quick, though, just in case I run into a cutscene. I don't think this is the way I go first. No. I think I come that way, like, right after I go to the left. Am I mixing up my games? Am I mixing it up? Or is it this route that we get the starters at? I think it's I think it's right here yeah it's right here okay I don't know why I thought it was on the right side all right the young goose comes out and yells at me little little rat yelling at me what kind of animal is that? I actually don't even know what you would call that and look at the goaded trio of starters absolute incredible I wish it randomized right here so three random Pokemon would run out and it would just look hilarious, but it's probably way too much to try coding that into the game. But that would be hilarious. Would be. Mm, so good thing I did save the game so that I can just load back up and get to the starter selection pretty quickly. Uh, as always, with the starter videos, you guys vote on it. Just write in the nickname, uh, write in the comments who you want me to pick and put some nicknames. But more than just one, because I probably will get a couple encounters before the next recording session or whatnot. So just put nicknames, not just for the starter. Um, put a nickname or two on the list and I'll try to get to them. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see what the options are going to be. Let's see what the options are going to be. This is one of the less exciting starter selections because it just shows the list of names. It doesn't like actually show you the Pokemon, but that's okay. What do we got? Voltorb, Huntail, and Boldor. So Boldor is the mid stage for Gigalith. Huntail is the water type that evolves from Clam Pearl. Voltorb, you guys know Voltorb. Good starter selection. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, I kind of don't mind any of these Pokemon. Voltorb, kind of frail. So it might be a little tough one to start with, but I'm cool with that because I'd go against Huntail, I think. And then Huntail would go against Boldor. So I think I'd kind of have the good type matchups no matter who I pick. Uh, but yeah, in the comments, leave a selection, Voltorb, Huntail, or Boldor. Leave some nicknames, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.